Hello everybody, my name is Peng Soon. Today I come back again and I will raise a part of Khmer history that describes relatively about King Surya Varman II or Sun God, known as Angkor Wat Temple founder and also about the general aspect under his reign from 1113 to 1150. In early 12th century, the Khmer Empire was separated into two parts and ruled by two different kings. One king named Thor Nantra Varman ruled at Mahitarabura capital near Mainnam River in north part of Thailand in present day. And another king named Norbaten crowned the throne in Angkor or yet South Thirabura capital. The king Thor Nantra Varman, he has got a nephew named Surya Varman and he has appointed to be a commander. There is in Yet South Thirabura capital, the king Norbaten, he's got resented with his teacher, Divya Kobandet, called Raja Guru Divya Kobandet. Perhaps there was a controversy in religious faith because the king worshipping Lord Shiva and Raja Guru worshipping Lord Vishnu. Later on, Raja Guru Divya Kobandet, he's got exiled from the capital. Hence, he was a prophet. He could predict for his future that if he traveled to the West, he will meet the fortunate person who will become the next king and he could unify the country back. In Mahitarabura capital, Raja Guru Tivya Kabandit, finally, he has met the Prince Surya Varman and he noticed that the Prince Surya Varman consists fully perfect conditions. Raja Guru thought that he must be the right king in his prophecy. Then he approached to the Prince Surya Varman and told him all about his story and also the future. Having good destiny, the Raja Guru and his family got invited by the Prince and the Prince built a shrine for his family in his compound. Every day, Raja Guru taught the Prince all of the special knowledges in the great Hindu manuscripts which he has brought from Angkor like how to administrate the empire, how to launch the soldiers, and how to propitiate Lord Vishnu to get the mighty power from him. Not long after that, Raja Guru realized that the prince, he got strong enough, and it's a good time for him to become a king. Soon, Raja Guru told the prince to launch the soldiers, wait for the night, then let the soldiers sneak in to assassinate his uncle in the palace. After that, the coronation ceremony was held by Raja Guru Tivya Kovandit for the prince to ascend the throne. And the prince Surya Varman has declared as a king of Mahitarabura under a big support by Raja Guru, some commanders and royal officers. The king has begun to conscript more soldiers and collected more taxes to consolidate his power. Whilst Raja Guru tried to convince the king to come down to attack capital city, Yat Sao Terebure or Angkor, because this capital, they have everything, lots of treasure, especially they have royal regalia and holy talismans for the monarch. In the rainy season in year 1113, King Surya Varman II and his teacher led a huge army down to attack Yat Sao Terebure or Angkor. As the King Robertin, he did not expect that his previous Raja Guru dared to destroy him. And most of his soldiers have been sent to help the citizens doing farming at the village. He got in a panic. Ultimately, the King Robertin decided to gather the rest of his soldiers in the palace to defend his capital. But his soldiers couldn't confront with the dominant soldiers of King Surya Varman II for a long time. Unfortunately, the King Robotin died in the battle on his elephant. In the meanwhile, there were some commanders and royal officers gave submission. After seeing Raja Guru Tivya Kobandit coming along with King Surya Varman II, and they paraded the new king to crown the throne in their capital. In year 1113, 
King Suryavarman II has unified the Khmer Empire back. He became a king with fully royal regalia and royal talismans. The royal talismans of Khmer king in Sanskrit language called Panchak said there were five gold crown, royal throne, nine tier parasol, sacred sword, and gold boots. After the reparation, the palace re excavated water reservoir and also constructed irrigation system. The capital city, Yasautarebure, got prosperity and became a sophisticated city in the region. Once the Raja Guru told the king about the geography of his kingdom that Yasotarebure is the center and exquisite holy place on earth. If you build some temple on earth to love Vishnu, you will get promoted to be a universal king and all satellite states will come to obey you. Having heard his Guru, King Surya Varman II ordered the priests and engineers to build some temples to show his glory as well as to dedicate to Lord Vishnu. After that, he has built some temples smaller as prototypes such as Chao Sai Tevada, Thomanon, Bonte Somrai, Wat Atwir, Pripitu Temple, and Bangmilia Temple. And finally, Biel Angkor Temple as the biggest plant ever in Khmer architecture. Yet, the King Surya Varman II also has finished some more temples that the previous kings haven't completely done, like Prasad Phnom Chiso Temple, Prasad Phnom Sundok Temple, Prasad Privihir Temple, and Prasad Vatpur Temple. Nowadays, it becomes Laos country. Remarkably, in his patrimony, they did not deposit Sivalang statue anymore, but they installed Lord Vishnu statues instead. In the temple construction campaign, the king used a lot of labors, golds, gemstones, and animals to decorate the temple. Whatever to make the temple magnificent, attractive, inspire the gods come down to live in his kingdom. Obviously, the king Surya Varman II intended to promote himself from human king to be the god king. That Sanskrit language called Vrakomrangteng and Chakotare that means heavenly king or universal king. Whilst the construction was going on, the King Surya Varman II has tightened the relationship with Chinese twice, such as in 1116 and the second time in 1120, the king sent royal ambassadors to please the Chinese emperor in order to make peace transaction in business, politics, and culture. Occasionally, the king and his commanders long and led their soldiers to raid and subdue the adversaries like Cham that always invaded Khmer Empire from the past time. The king seized the Cham capital in 1145 and appointed his brother-in-law named Harit Devyak to rule this area. War with Vietnamese that is the millennium enemy always plotted and allowed the traitors to hide in their country. War with Thai and Mon people that attempt to rebel against him at the West Plain and up north of the country. Khmer Empire, under the reign of King Surya Varman II, the land area was very vast. The east frontier of the country border to Jampa. The north stretches out until China. The west border to Burma, and the south outlet to the Chinese Ocean. 